Hey guys, it's Randy with Low Buck LS here again, and this episode we're going to talk about using the real-time tuning feature in HP tuners to tune your VE table. So, I did a video about this oh, probably a year ago, but I think it's worth revisiting, and I've got a bunch of new subscribers and stuff in that time, so we're going to talk about it again. So, uh, basically, um, the next video I'm going to do, we're going to be working on a, a lean spike on tip-in, but before we make adjustments to that transient fuel tab, um, both the sources I've talked to, which are Kyle at Goat Rope Garage and Jeff at Evans Performance Academy, have said to make sure your VE table is dialed right in before you uh, start messing with that transients tab. So. We're going to go out for uh, another uh, drive today and uh, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to demonstrate that uh, real-time tuning feature of HP tuners. So we'll fire up the laptop now and uh, I'll show you guys how to set that up. Okay, so I got my HP tuners editor opened up here. Uh, so the first thing you got to do to use this real-time tuning is go into the engine and under this general tab over here and this parameter right over here this real-time mode you gotta normally it comes disabled but you gotta make sure it's set on this VE spark PE um, setting because we're gonna be tuning the VE table so um, and then once you make that change as usual you gotta write that tune to the truck so We'll go over to the editor for a second. And this is a log that I made during that last video. This is a third, third gear uh, full throttle pull. So the two main areas we're gonna be focused on here are basically if you look at this green line here is the AFR and the red line is the commanded AFR. So if we look at before I uh, open the throttle, we're cruising along at 47 kilometers an hour, 1200 RPM, so about 30 miles an hour. <clears throat> and with the throttle closed, we're calling for 14.68 for AFR ratio. And then as soon as I step on the throttle, okay, and also before, our, uh, before I step on the throttle, our map is at 37 kPa so that's gonna be the the area 1200 rpm and 40 let me look at the table here to so yeah 1200 rpm and about 40 kPa is kind of the cell that we're gonna focus on when we're doing our real-time tuning and then we're also going to focus on the area right after it goes to wide open throttle, which is 1600 RPM and 85. So if you look at with the throttle closed, our map was 37 and with the throttle open, our map was 86. So those are the areas we're going to focus on. But what we're eventually going to be trying to fix in the next video is this lean spike when we uh, tip in and go wide open throttle so yeah you can see before i went wide open throttle we were actually slightly rich we we're at a 14.42 afr and then <clears throat> just after we open the throttle here the commanded afr has dropped to 12.23 but the actual afr this green line is still at 14.5 and then it actually takes a spike up here to 16.2 before it finally goes down and um, goes rich again here it's actually really rich so basically that's we're gonna try and get the VE table dialed in at 1200 rpm and 35 kPa and 1600 rpm and 85 kpa so and then once we're uh, out in the truck you'll see once i'm connected to the vehicle um oh it doesn't even have the real-time tuning icon here because we're not connected to the vehicle so we'll do that now we'll uh 
head out to the truck and get the scanner connected and we'll try out that real-time tuning. Okay, so I got the truck out on a remote stretch of road here again so that I uh, use for when I'm doing my uh, street tuning. Um, so now we'll uh, open up the scanner and uh, have a look at uh, getting this real-time tuning set up. So go over here, um, we gotta connect the vehicle. And then we should see that real-time tuning icon. Yeah, there it is right there. So um, we'll click on that. And what you want to do is use this RAM table. So if you click on that, that's going to copy the your main VE table from the, the truck ECU to your computer. And it's actually going to run off of that in your computer the way I understand it and so we'll be able to edit it on the fly without having to stop and shut off the truck and flash to the, the ECU so um, looks like that is all working so basically what I'm gonna do now uh, kind of the same thing I did when we were VE tuning in the last video I'm gonna fire up the truck we'll get rolling um, I'll start logging and I'm gonna lock it in third gear and just have the throttle closed. So we'll be rolling down the road in third gear with the throttle closed and we'll use this real time tuning table to uh, try and get our, uh, our VE table dialed right in at that 35 to 40 KPA mark and 1200 RPM. And then this will be a little trickier because we'll be going wide open throttle. So I'll be trying to drive and tune at the same time. But yeah, the other cell we want to look at is right after the, the full throttle transition, we'll be looking at the uh, around the 85 KPA cell and 1600 RPM. So we'll fire up the truck now. And we'll start logging. Okay, so we're logging. We're gonna make sure no cars are coming and we'll take off. We'll wait for it to shift. There it's in second. Now it just shifted to third. So we'll go over here to our, uh, oh, now it just shifted to fourth, but we'll go over to our uh, controls and special functions button, transmission tab, and the gear tab, and we're gonna command third gear, and we should hear it shift from, right now it's an overdrive, and right there it shifted back to third. So now I'm just gonna let off the throttle, we're just rolling down the road here. I think I can close out this controls and special functions. Actually, I'll just minimize it because we'll need to go back to that later. So, yeah, we're running at, currently running at 37-ish, 39, sometimes KPA and 1100 RPM and dropping. So now we're gonna go to this real-time tuning tab, which I had closed out for some reason. Pull up our RAM table. And this little rectangle tells you which cell you're operating in right now, so it's just pulling all the information out of the engine computer and it'll populate this table here. So you can see now, now we're, our, our RPM is dropped. We're at about a thousand RPM. 
so you can see it's kind of bouncing back and forth between these two cells so and we are a little bit lean um, this light blue line that you can see scrolling by that's our wideband error in percent and the dotted light blue line is zero so right now we are on the positive side of that so that means we are lean so basically we want this light blue line to be as close to that light blue dotted line as possible so um, now we'll go into this real-time tuning VE table and whatever cell you click on it it'll highlight and now I can use the you can't see my keyboard but if you use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard I'll hit the plus key right now and you can see that cell I just hit it twice so it went from 53 to 54 to 55 so and now you can see that actually brought our AFR pretty darn close to where it needs to be actually um, looks like it's still slightly on the lean side by judging from this uh, it's never quite dipping down below that dotted blue line I'm also going to increase the cells around it here I'm going to take this one that I just clicked take it up to 55 because HP tuners interpolates between the two cells and the, and the cell that's below it or I guess above it on the table but below it based on manifold pressure I'm going to take this up a couple percent as well and now we're actually looking really good you can see that every once in a while that our blue line for our air dips below that dotted blue line and then most of the time it's above it so basically that's pretty good I think so now I'm actually gonna put the throttle to the floor and see what our error is right after I go 100% but I am gonna have that lean spike due to my transient fuels not being right so basically I'm gonna look and see what my error is right after that lean spike so actually to make it easier once I'm done doing this full throttle I'll, ba I'll basically take it like right now we're running at 900 rpm I'll take it up to I don't know 24 2500 rpm and then I'll let off the throttle and then I'll save the log so I can go back in and look at what the error is so I'll do that now I'll go full throttle up to about 2500 rpm and then we'll stop and pull over and review the log so we'll do that now So we'll stop logging and we'll pull over. Okay, so we're pulled over. So the other thing I forgot to mention is the changes that you make in this real-time tuning table aren't permanent. So um, now that I've stopped and pulled over and shut the, the truck off, if I close out this tab, I'm gonna lose all these numbers or the four or whatever cells that I change. So basically what you have to do before you close this out, if you're happy with the changes you've made, which I am, like if you look at the AFR, it's commanding 14.68 and what we're actually seeing is 14.61 so that's pretty good so I'm gonna right click like highlight the whole table by clicking that upper left corner and right click on there and go copy 
and then we're gonna go over to our editor oh and the one thing I always forget when I'm doing this is to go into the scanner and disconnect from the vehicle and then we go into the editor uh, under the engine airflow tab primary VE we'll open that up and if we go I think we can go paste and we should see can't remember what cells we changed again here but just make sure everything's the same here I think it was this column here from 45 to 60 and so looking at this here from 45 to 60 yeah, this tables the same as that one so now we can close that out and I've got to remember to write uh, this VE table to the truck before we uh, go again but anyways for now we'll hop back into our log here and I want to look at this uh, where we did the uh, where I did the transition from no throttle here So here our map was actually 50 and right here you can see is where I hit the throttle and so there's that lean spike that I was expecting but I'm gonna look right after that and actually our VE is pretty darn good right there because if you look at it's commanding 12.23 and we are at 12.27 so i don't think i even need to uh, make any adjustments in that area it would be the yeah the 2000 rpm cell and uh, 90 kpa manifold pressure but based on how that's performing um we're basically right on so basically the ve table in that area is dialed in and now we've got the V table over here dialed in so I'm gonna go back to the editor and write this tune to the truck Actually, first I'm going to save it with today's date and write it to the truck Um, basically that is how you do the real-time tuning all right guys so that is how you do the VE tuning with the real-time tuning on uh, HP tuners so uh, next video we're gonna look at getting rid of that lean spike when I go from uh, no throttle to full throttle or even part throttle I still get a, a lean spike in my AFR so um, we're going to cover that next time. In the meantime, don't forget to go, uh, I'll post a link. I just made a video today. Um, we recently passed a thousand subscribers on the channel. So I'm going to do a giveaway of a $25 gift card. Um, you've got to go to the video I posted today, which I will link in the comments and make a comment on it and then show up next Friday, September 6, 2019 at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and I will do a random drawing of uh, a comment in that video and give away a $25 Summit gift card. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.